Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We hope you are doing well because we have some news for you today. All right, you guys, so today is going to be just a life update video. We're gonna talk to you guys about what we've been up to, what we're going to be up to in the next couple of weeks, and we promise we're trying to we're gonna <laughs> we promise we're gonna try not to get too long um so yeah i mean where do we even start um, so many things have happened so many things are happening there's just i mean i think some of you already know about one of those things but wait freeze i feel like every time we like have a video with you guys it's like we're moving to san francisco <laughs> we're in san francisco we're moving again we're moving again we're moving again like i feel like it's always <laughs> i feel like it's always really big life things and like we have to get better with vlogging our day-to-day -day things because we do so much we always have fun we go on adventures there's always something happening in this household but we i know they think that we always just like sleep and then bam yeah <laughs> life <like> update <laughs> We don't are not good at doing like everyday videos and i'm sorry like we have yeah. to get better at that seriously like we should have had a video when i cut my hair and like whoa now i have short hair and last time i had <laughs> last time i had long hair so anyways this is the last time well hopefully the last time we do this and we get better at vlogging but i think we will get better so with that being said should we say the good or the bad well there's two good and one bad right i think we say good good bad okay all right so we'll pretend you guys asked us the good news first <laughs> the first good news is that we are moving again <laughs> we are moving officially out of san francisco we will no longer be living here in the city um november 11th marked one year for me yeah. living here november 10 oh my gosh november 10 marked a year and then the saturday after thanksgiving, after thanksgiving marked one year for me living in san francisco yeah so we're like happy to say we made the year like did it it's been amazing and it's sad to say that the majority of the time we've lived in the city has been through a pandemic um but the good thing is that we're not going to be too far from the city we're staying in the bay we're staying in the bay we're not going to southern california just yet so we <laughs> will still be in the bay area but we are moving to oakland Oakland, California, everybody. The question is, how, when are we moving? We're moving super quick. Um, it's gonna be fast. We're moving in literally 10 days. Um, it doesn't feel real. Like we have so much to do. No, it feels real because we yeah. look around and we already see a mess. Yeah, like turn the camera. <laughs> you might see a bra or two, I apologize. Why are you apologizing? I'm sure they wanna see our bras. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we already sold our dresser and we're already trying to like plan how we're gonna move all of this so it feels real because yeah. the room already looks different it doesn't look like our room yeah but it doesn't feel real at the same time because it kind of all happened so fast yeah and that's the crazy part that i was just thinking about that when that one time cynthia and i were like we need to move like mm -hmm. like this is something that we want it's something that we need and the reason that it's such a big deal is because we've never lived together like by ourselves we've always had roommates in college obviously we had roommates we moved out we had roommates um in the oh she came to live with me and with my family for some time the bay we had roommates so we've never really lived alone like and had our own we've place. never had our own home or our own apartment or anything we've always lived with others we've had our privacy but we also just don't have every room of the house to ourselves yeah so we're like i told them they're like we need our own place like for sure like this we need to make this happen and with the year that we've had like we deserve it like we need this for ourselves and especially with, with the pandemic we don't want to continue to be around people unfortunately mm -hmm. like i just feel like it, this is the time to like really take care of yourself and like your family and not risk things and we're already people who like don't have parties and like don't have all these people over like we're really sticking to the to these you know um safety protocols during this pandemic so yeah. we're like we might as well just live in our own place and we can be safer like that so yeah i mean we're super excited to move um i know we're like i don't know like 
It's so exciting, but at the same time, I'm like, I wish I could just snap my fingers and it'll be done. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, the fact you guys have seen how many times we've moved. In San Francisco, it's already been, what, three, three times? times? And we're professional movers at this point, but because we've done it so much, we know everything it takes, everything that goes into it. And because this time we're actually going, like, crossing the bridge, it's just we want to make the least trips as possible um, yeah. to make it easier because it's the longest. It's Besides from SoCal to NorCal, this will be the next longest move we have. Yeah. So we're excited. Um, and, yeah, I mean, stay tuned. We're going to do like a tour and once we start getting all our furniture and we start decorating which we're super excited for I think that's the main reason I'm excited to move is like woo I get to like decorate and you know go to crazy like I'm already crazy and I like shop at all these places but like I make a super small space and like I utilize a small space as much as I can and now I'm like we're actually gonna have bigger space this is crazy like <laughs> yeah like our room is tiny but we make the best out of it yeah. and we organize and stack like vertically if we can because yeah. we, oh my gosh. you know we don't want to feel like it's just a room we've made it a home and we really have now we're excited to actually have more space to add more uh, more things that make us who we are and yeah. it's just an exciting experience and we wanted this for a long time and it's finally happening. And I also feel like we're really humble people, mm -hmm. you know, and we're super thankful for what we've been given. Yeah. And we deserve this. We deserve it and we need it. And I don't want to feel like, you know, like, oh, like you're not grateful for what you have. Oh, like, no. No, we're so grateful for what we have and what we've worked for. And this is just like a huge next step into our life. Yeah. It's a we're in the transition period and we're going into the next part of our life and I feel like we need that we want that and our relationship deserves that yeah yeah so Couldn't have said it better myself with that being said the next good piece of news and the reason why we are moving another reason why we're moving is because, because we are, are having a baby <laughs> No! <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Okay. We are not having a baby, but we are going, going to, to be moms. moms. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are, guys. We are officially having a little baby. Expanding our little family. A fur baby. Yeah. For starters, we are easing our way into the reality of responsibility and uh, nurturing and comfort. Someone nurturing and comforting another heartbeat that is not just ours so we figured might as well start with a fur baby <laughs> <laughs> um, i'm sure if you guys follow us on instagram or me on instagram you've seen that we posted mm -hmm. a picture that we are getting a baby soon and we are expecting him to be with us before christmas <sighs> right before christmas guys and i'm so excited like i wish that we had him here already yeah. like oh my god i'm so excited like it's for so we're also being thankful for the time that we have left together just us two because we know it's a responsibility and we know we're gonna be busy and tired when we yeah. first get this little puppy so we're i mean we're excited but we're also nervous but we're ready and also keep in mind like i have so i think i've said this before i'm super allergic to dogs like super so like the love of having a puppy i haven't had that for years like at least a decade since i found out i was allergic to cats and dogs and like we were talking about this how it was so important for us to find the perfect dog um because of my allergies i had to find like a good hypoallergenic dog i asked a lot of people for recommendations and um talked to my doctor about it and we think we found like the perfect puppy should we tell them the breed of this puppy yeah we should tell them yeah yeah okay you you tell them the perfect breed we found or should we not tell them? Because he's too cute. We should maybe show him in the next video. I feel like we should share. All right, all right. Then you tell them. <laughs> okay, so the breed of our puppy is a mini Labradoodle puppy. It is the cutest puppy in this world. We were really torn apart between getting a Golden Doodle or a Labradoodle. Um, because Did I say Labradoodle before? Is that the puppy I said? Yes. I said Labradoodle? Okay. 
So we were really torn between getting the golden doodle and the labradoodle because they have so many good qualities, similar qualities. Mm -hmm. Um, and they're both really smart and uh, loving and loyal um, and they're very hypoallergenic dogs where my allergies won't go crazy so we like looked at pictures and we looked at breeders and um, we ultimately felt like the Labradoodle was the baby for us yeah. right and we're just so excited like <laughs> oh my gosh should I show them the picture too no 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 <laughs> They've been sending us updated pictures of what they look like at six weeks. We're going to get the puppy after eight weeks, so still a little bit more than two weeks away. Two weeks. But they've been sending us updated photos, and oh my goodness, they're growing, and they're getting so much cuter and fluffier, and we still don't know which one is ours because... Don't. We get last pick, so basically we get the little underdog, the one that Ew. nobody else wanted, which makes us even more happy because we want them. Yeah. So we will see what our little puppy looks like exactly in a few days. Via Zoom, sadly, in this <laughs> world that we live in. We'll be meeting him via Zoom, um, and two weeks from then, we will be picking him up in Southern California where we are so excited and we have his little bed and his i already went shopping clothes. oh my gosh yes we were in la and like her and my little sister came back and we're like mm -hmm. surprise like we got all this stuff and they came back with like toys and a bed a and head. a christmas pajama set oh my gosh an oh my. outfit oh my gosh so <laughs> i'm like i'm just so Excited. This we're is gonna... definitely gonna be the pup that goes to Starbucks for a puppuccino. I never thought I'd be that person, but I think I'm gonna be that person. <laughs> we are definitely gonna be those moms. And I know you're not the only ones. This yeah. city has really turned us into like realizing we need a puppy in our life. Everybody and has a dog here. Everybody. And that's what I was gonna say is like we, I think a month ago, if you would have asked us a month ago, it would have been a joke like I think it was the day that it we, was a joke it was a ago. joke <laughs> it was a joke right yeah. I want to say I don't remember what day it was it was the day we went um when the after the election mm -hmm. when we went to Golden Gate and we saw a puppy on the park and like I had mentioned to her like honestly like how lonely I've been feeling and like just like under the weather and like you know in San Francisco it's like not as sunny as it is in Southern California mm -hmm. and like I just felt like I was missing something like I needed something more so that's the news we are going to be mommies and yeah it is gonna be a beautiful new adventure of a new house and a new puppy and it's gonna be like a new start for all of us uh, honestly a whole new change for everyone and I feel like that's what we need right now some change yeah so guys that brings us next to our last piece of news um, which is not so cheerful and expected it was it's not as exciting as yeah. the first two but it's still not the worst news because good is going to come out of it yes. but basically last week a few days before Thanksgiving I was invited to a last-minute meeting um, with my employment and unfortunately I had to be laid off due to the pandemic so my YouTube videos for these kiddos the exercising all of that fun stuff is done with um, I'm no longer employed by that organization anymore I am currently unemployed um, which is new to me because I don't like to be unemployed I don't usually get a new job unless I don't usually leave a job until I'm employed somewhere else so this is the first time since high school I think that I've been in this situation. So it's a new it's new territory for me and during a pandemic and during a move and during <laughs> adding a new investment of a puppy, it's a little overwhelming, but I'm very optimistic with what's going to be happening and I feel like it really was that kick in the butt that I needed because even though I did enjoy my job, I've been doing that kind of stuff for years already and I was ready for something new. I want to be able to continue changing lives and impacting the youth and their families but I don't want to be doing the same sports, physical education stuff anymore. I want to expand and be able to help families really, I want to really help families be successful in this world so I'm using this kind of sudden situation as, um, can't find the right word but as a stepping stone yeah i'm using it as a stepping stone to kind of just you know go forward with my goals and do what i want to do and so it, it's a good thing it's not such a bad thing oh come here i love you i love you too 
and I'm so proud of this woman like honestly like we contemplated like should we share this information should we not like maybe it's a little too personal we also don't like to like say things that are like not like positive on this channel for any reason you know we have enough negativity going around like let's mm -hmm. only share positive but then we talked about it and we realized like you, Cynthia made a really good point like a lot of people could be going through this as well and that's not normalized on social media to say mm -hmm. like hey guess what I got laid off because of the pandemic like people share good things like marriage proposals you know babies and promotions and all these like really positive things which is amazing which is amazing but that's not real life like real life is bad shit happens sometimes and nobody talks about that so we wanted to normalize yeah she got laid off yeah i'm unemployed we, yeah she's unemployed <laughs> yeah it sucks because it wasn't on her terms mm -hmm. but it's gonna be positive because like she said when you know the way i say when one door closes another one opens and this is only be only the beginning of so many opportunities that i know cynthia has like in the future for her and i'm so excited for you because you. you're gonna find something amazing and if y'all haven't seen the way she is with these kiddos like best advocate no. best person in the world to work with people and uh helping them especially with the low-income families here in san francisco i'm like so excited to see where this woman's gonna go so excited to see where our, fa our little family is gonna turn into and we're gonna just keep growing and i think that's life is yeah. keep rolling with the punches and keep growing so things are looking good though so please don't feel bad for me i'm yeah. gonna be okay we're gonna be okay yeah I've been applying like crazy, so I do have some interviews coming up, and we're going to make the best out of the situation, and I'm only looking up from here, and I'm excited for what the future is going to bring. Yeah. So we are so excited, and we are so thankful to like be able to share this with you, this news with you. Um, yeah, we still, we'd love to like make these videos for you guys, um, if, for, for those of you who are watching our channel, we appreciate you guys, and we hope to become more active on this channel we always say that we always say that you we're know? like a broken record at this point just <laughs> watch please when we post the videos watch we're not too consistent but i think the fact that we're having so much change it might bring us more content and it'll encourage us to put more out there for you and guys. no we actually have a lot of content we just don't film it and that's no. the part that we are sorry for because we should be filming it and it's fun but at the same time we really enjoy doing us being us um spontaneously we just have to learn how to kind of yeah. combine everything together and yeah. and put more out there for you because we do do we do do we do do <laughs> we do so much that you know some of it is really good content for you to join yeah. us on but again we don't always bring the camera with us so we need to do better at that but you know if you are watching thank you for watching thank you for supporting we appreciate all of you you know we hope that our videos help some of you smile throughout the day and we just have fun with this so thanks y'all and we hope you guys are staying safe we hope that if you're going through some tough times physically mentally emotionally that you're getting the help that you need um doing things that make you happy and not letting other people bring you down because these times are uncertain and you need all the positivity that you can have and that you can take so, so if y'all ever need anybody because you feel like you don't have anybody we are always here for you guys we are always here for you i have absolutely like all my doors are open if anyone ever wants to come in my ears are here my heart is here Usually I'm a huge hugger, but my arms are not here right now because of this pandemic. But once the pandemic's over, the virtual I hugs are there. Be there to hug you. <laughs> so yeah. So once again, thank you all for watching. We appreciate you. Thank you for supporting us. We hope that you are all caught up. I think this is all the news we have. Yes. So you are now all caught up with us and our lives, and we will keep you updated because change is coming. Change is here, and there's going to be so much new to show you. So excited guys for the next two weeks so stay tuned be safe you guys wear a mask and make sure to stay healthy yes and happy holidays happy holidays y'all <laughs> we'll see you guys in our next video bye bye